So Kristen Wiig goes from voicing Miss Hattie from the original to another character as Lucy in the sequel. Interesting. I'm having a bad, bad day. It's about time that I get my way. Steam rolling, whatever I see. Huh, despicable me. I'm having a bad, bad day. Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review the film Despicable Me 2. Alright, this film has the voice talents of Steve Carell, Kristen Wiig, voicing a different character in this sequel, Miranda Cosgrove, Steve Coogan, Benjamin Brett, Russell Brand. Going into Despicable Me 2, I was really, really excited to see this film. It was one of my most anticipated animated films of this year. So I was really excited to see it. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I was disappointed with Despicable Me 2. I liked the original film, so I would hope at least the sequel would be better, but nah, it's nowhere near as good as the original, to be honest. There are positives, though, like, there are some funny moments. A lot of the humor in this film, unfortunately, is a miss, so a lot of the humor didn't make me laugh, but there were some a funny moments in this film that did give me good laughs. We also have this villain called El Macho and he was an enjoyable character. He gave me a few good laughs. I, I like the villain. Also the minions. I know a lot of people said the minions are funnier in the sequel but in all honesty I actually thought the minions were more funnier in the first one. Even the minions couldn't really you know get make the film more better. Like, don't get me wrong, the minions have their moments of being hilarious and all, but even the minions weren't as funny as I thought they were going to be, and I gotta say, that was very disappointing to me. And there were a few times where they actually did get on my nerves. Also, Kristen Wiig, although I'm not the biggest fan of her, but you know, she's a cute and pretty actress. She's cute. I like her voice. She voices Agent Lucy. Her character got on my nerves. She was also another problem of mine. Like, sure, she maybe got one laugh out of me, her character, but overall, I her character just got on my nerves, and every time she was trying to be all Kristen Wiig-ish, uh, I was just like, oh, my brain started to hurt after a while, to be honest. And then there was a character that was just twice as more annoying than Kristen Wiig's character, Lucy. That was Gru's neighbor. Holy shit. She is the most annoying character I've heard in an animation film in a while. She had a creepy face, she had a creepy voice, and I was so annoyed. Not only was she creepy looking, but she annoyed the living hell out of me. Thank God she was only in two scenes. But the two scenes, Gru's neighbor, who tries to set him up on a date by the way, Oh my gosh, I, I just couldn't stand it. And the humor was another problem with this film. The humor does feel very forced a lot of times. You know, they just try to force it down your throat. That's how it felt to me. And they, I felt... I feel like the film tried so hard to make you laugh. Like, it just tried way too hard to be funny. And it just didn't work for me. Don't get me wrong. There are still some funny moments. But a lot of humor, I gotta say, it was disappointing. And it shocked me how much humor in this movie actually did not make me laugh. The storyline also. Now, with animation films, I'm fine with storylines being predictable, not too predictable, but just being a little, I'm fine with there being cliches too, as long as they're done in a refreshing way. But this film, the storyline, it was 100% predictable, I called every move. And it just felt way too predictable. You get cliches. Surprisingly, the cliches didn't bug me that much. They did bug me, but not as much. It was really just how predictable and how not good the storyline to this film was. 
The voice acting is good. I still enjoyed Steve Carell as Gru. He offered some nice laughs. And uh, Steve Carell is one of my favorite comedy actors. Plus voice actors too. I love his voice work and his comedy work. So it's still enjoyable to hear Steve Carell bring in the character Gru in this film. And I also enjoyed Kristen Wiig's voice for Lucy, even though I didn't really enjoy her character. And Miranda Cosgrove, who you may remember from the Nickelodeon shows Drake and Josh and iCarly. I thought she was enjoyable as Margot, just like she was in the first. And then Steve Coogan, he was good here. Benjamin Brez, El Macho. <laughs> he did really good. I was impressed with his voice work. And... All the other voice actors in this film, they overall did an impressive job. I have no problem with the voice actors. Russell Brand's character, Dr. DeFario, he was pointless. And honestly, he did not need to be in this film at all. Like, if they literally did not include Dr. DeFario in The Spick Me 2, the film would be no different. Here, he felt wasted and useless, and he didn't need to be needed here. Also, the film bored me, and I mean really bored me, really underwhelmed me at moments, and uh, the pacing, there is some choppy editing in this film. There is some rushed pacing in this film, especially when it gets towards to the end. And then the finale, I had fun with it, but I couldn't fully enjoy the finale just because of one, it was short, it didn't feel long at all, it was a short finale. Two, it was rushed, it was a little bit messy, it's really, really predictable, and... <sighs> I understand there's going to be a lot of you that love this film and I can understand why some people love this film and why some people might enjoy this one more than the original, but I was so disappointed. This is one of the most disappointing films of the year. It's not terrible, it does have its positives, but overall I expected so so much more out of this Pickle Me 2. I'm going to give the disappointing animated sequel, Despicable Me 2, 2 out of 4 stars. Follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, subscribe to my channel, comment below and give me your opinion of the film, like and share this video. I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget that I will always have Taga power! Steam rolling, whatever I see. How oh, despicable me.